In this video, we will be getting my 100th platinum trophy. Also, I thought it'd be a bit fun to go through the history of my platinum trophies while obtaining my 100th platinum trophy. It has taken me 11 years to get 100 platinum trophies. I've done the DLC. I am like nine years in the making. Considering nowadays you can get just 30 platinum trophies in like an hour with the amount of jumping games that exist. 11 years is kind of shocking. There we go. Now I'm hungry again. Of course, I will touch on some big milestones that I've achieved while going for 100 Platinums. And then, of course, achieve the 100th Platinum. So I think the 100th Platinum is the only time someone has gone, hmm, what shall I play next just to get it to be my 100th Platinum? But I did have a few games in mind. My original plan was for it to be Mortal Kombat 11. But after three weeks, that Platinum is still unobtainable. Can we not normalize fighting game Platinums not being achievable on day one? It happened with Street Fighter 6 and now Mortal Kombat 1. So Tekken 8, don't you dare. I also thought Spider-Man 2 would be my 100th Platinum, but by the time I got this Platinum, the game would be out in like 13 days. And I can't go that far without Platinum in something if I can help it. Also, Stream Chat had some very interesting suggestions. <laughs> Do Shrek. <laughs> hey, you know what? I, I wouldn't be opposed to it, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, it actually has a platinum. 100th platinum confirmed? Maybe. But then I remember there's a game that I haven't platinumed. One that, that is a true celebration of the entire history of PlayStation. And I feel like it's the only real candidate for my 100th platinum trophy. And that, of course, is Astro's Playroom. Unironically, one of the best games still on the PS5. I cannot wait to see your video on this game. The main draw of this game, of course, is the many different Easter eggs and references to previous Sony titles. <laughs> <laughs> goes to Tsushima. All the way from the PS1 to now, of course, the PS5. Oh, it's Cloud! That's, that's so dope. But first, a really quick, brief rundown of some of my Platinum trophies and the milestones that I hit them on. So my first Platinum trophy was Prototype 2, which really surprised me when I look back on it. I thought it was Walking Dead or Assassin's Creed 2, but Prototype 2. My first proud platinum one where i locked and went yeah i'm proud of that one and that was bullet storm it was my sixth platinum trophy and i remember to this day there was online trophies and me and a friend had about two weeks to knock them out some of those multiplayer trophies were quite difficult and we did do it and i still stand by that it's one of the most underrated fps games of the 2010s my 25th platinum trophy batman arkham origins i'm still really proud of this platinum it had some online trophies and a permadeath trophy so yeah, still one of my proudest ones. My 50th Platinum was Doom 2016. Still a banger of a game, in my opinion. It is better than Eternal. My 75th Platinum was Dead Rising 4. I decided on Christmas Day that I would finish this game. How much do I hate myself? Now, this one I thought would be a bit of fun. A Platinum that I would do again for a video. Since before I started this channel, I had about 70 Platinums. So which one would I do again for a video? And I'd probably say Dead Rising 1. Just because I remember how frustrating the survivors are in that game. And of course, at this point, the iconic 7-day survivor trophy. And also, I feel like just recording myself losing my mind for 14 hours straight might make some interesting content. My easiest platinum? Probably My Name is Mayo. Though it did give my thumb a bit of a workout. Imagine I had this bad boy back then. My hardest platinum is still The Evil Within. Though I would like to change that since it's been my hardest platinum for like 8 years now. And my longest platinum? Obviously Mortal Kombat 9. And now it's time for my 100th platinum. So grab your bronze, silver and gold trophies while we obtain the big 100th platinum trophy. Right, my 100th platinum. Let's have some nostalgia, shall we? So if you guys don't know what this game is, it's basically a tech demo for the PlayStation 5 for it mainly just to show off the DualSense and what that controller is actually capable of. S-U-B-C-R-I-B-E. I'm sure you know what that spells. You should definitely do it. And while this game is only a tech demo, I still stand by it is one of the best games on the PS5. We're playing Infamous! The game is free, and the amount of content and enjoyment you can get out of this game is insane. Uh, is he supposed is this ape escape? <laughs> <laughs> While we all appreciate free things, they could have very easily charged 10 to 20 bucks for this game, and I would have no issues paying that. <laughs> it's Death Stranding. The heart of this game is, of course, it's just a collect-a-thon. You're collecting these puzzle pieces, as well as these artifacts, and the artifacts are the main appeal of this game. Oh, the screen. I remember I had one of these as a kid. They were awesome. There are so many references to both new and old that if you've played any PlayStation console in the last 30 years, you will get hit with some nostalgia. <laughs> oh my 
god. And I'm not gonna see everything. I will definitely miss out on someone's favorite game. I really implore you to go play this game yourself if you haven't done so already. I mean, it's free and it's a three hour platinum, so why not? And some of the trophies are genuinely really fun to get. So cool. <laughs> suppose i should probably touch on the platinum now right so to get this platinum you have to go through these multiple different worlds beating the different levels and getting all the collectibles and trust me the collectibles are not that hard to get and they're a lot of fun to get as well if my entire life could be described by one image it's this <laughs> it's so beautiful these missions don't really offer you too much challenge until you get to the speed runs but even then the speed runs are dlc and aren't required for the platinum but we'll knock out those trophies really quick overall these speed runs aren't that bad Besides me falling off this map three times, it's really not hard in the slayers. You do have some margin of error. As long as you know the general route, it really shouldn't give you too much trouble. How? That was horrible. <laughs> and the absolute final trophy that I earned, it is the perfect trophy to unlock to get this platinum trophy. And if you unlock this trophy at any other time, your platinum's fake. Right. Let's get our platinum trophy, shall we? Please? Yeah! <laughs> nice! <laughs> and there's the platinum pop. 100 platinums. If you guys joined this channel yesterday or you joined it over 12 months ago when I started this channel, I do thank you for watching and supporting the content. And if you want to see me platinum another game, click somewhere on screen.